controversial subject now. Popularity of veganism and veganuary. Well, one vegan activist wants to take things a lot further. He says that milk is murder. I want to show you something that is a product of the dairy industry. Milk is murder. Take the vegans That's out of the picture. Thing to say. It's about the animals. If people want to do this, get on with it quietly, do whatever you want to do. It's the tyranny that comes with it. All right, this is where you put rubbish and garbage. I don't want to show you who's in here. I'm going to go and eat a steak from a cow I know later and see if that makes me feel better. <laughs> Dairy is notorious for being one of the cruelest industries on the planet. It involves the rape of female cows to impregnate them, the kidnap of calves at birth. If their calf is born a male, they are killed at as young as five days old for veal. <coughs> and while the mother mourns the loss of her child, she is forced into a life of slavery and because of genetic manipulation will produce up to 12 times more milk than natural. The dairy slaves are milked constantly resulting in painful infections called mastitis in which large amounts of pus and blood are sucked out with the milk. The cycle then repeats with yearly forced insemination to keep the cow lactating, yearly child kidnap and murder, and when milk production declines, the cows go to a peaceful, beautiful retirement home where they can live happily ever after. Oh. Sylvia is the little dairy calf. She was just six hours old when we got her. Sylvia the dairy calf. Yeah. So look, she's even got her buds because she isn't. She was so young when we got her. They hadn't they debudded had her. Debudded her. Yes, yeah. I was just saying you're playful, wasn't I? Because she's a girl, and they only replace a third of the herd every year. Okay. She'd have still gone to veal. But even those who don't eat the baby cow flesh, let's just say they have uh, dairy milk in their coffee. They're they're supporting the same industry, aren't they? We, uh, yeah, they've they've built the industry, haven't they've they? They built the industry. That's that's I think that's the point about you know even when we're all vegetarians and we think we're kind, we're you're supporting actually... one of the most abusive, exploitative industries on earth. So 150,000 dairy cows a year in Britain alone are slaughtered with the baby still in their stomach, and I've seen images of them cutting the ba literally cutting the baby out of their stomach after they've slaughtered the mother. Dairy industries. It's a horror story. And this is why we speak out so ferociously against the dairy industry. And we have like people like Piers Morgan defending dairy consumption. He's defending the murder of these baby dairy calves that are being hacked up and, you know, fed to others. People who eat cheese and, you know, drink dairy milk. It's cruel, unnecessary, abusive, and it's just pure slavery. But now you know what happens to animals in slaughterhouses so you can have milk in your coffee. And what are you going to do about it? A lot of the cows it? that get milk don't go to slaughterhouses. Yes, they do. No, they don't. You don't know nothing about the industry, my friend. No, we I do. don't know nothing about the They, they, they all get, get slaughtered. The they all it, get slaughtered. So what a lot of people don't know about the dairy industry is that all those cows get killed. That facility over there is a facility that chops up these animals and feeds them to people. Usually for second grade cuts, minced up into hamburgers, you know, pies, just processed food. That's the skins torn off the bodies of these poor cows. And that, that'll get turned into like furniture, jackets, shoes. They're showing no mercy. No mercy, these animals, for cheese, for milk, milk in Piers Morgan's coffee. Who's like drinking tea with soy milk? Delicious. Have you ever terrible. tried? Have, you, have you ever tried almond milk, rice milk, coconut yeah. milk? But none of it was tea. Why are we? None of it was for the national drink of tea. You talk about the fact for the national drink of tea, we choose soy milk. All right. So here we are on a farm in the UK here, and I want to show you something that is a product of the dairy industry. Absolutely disgraceful. Come and have a look at this. Hey, 
the argument about milk is murder is a fatuous one. Mm. So this is a bin. Uh, this is where you put rubbish and garbage. And I want to show you who's in here. I want them to see the, f the faces of these babies. Oh my god. <sighs> Look at this. Look at this little angel here. This baby here, chucked in the bin like a piece of garbage, this beautiful angel. Thrown in the back here, that's probably, you know, sibling. Oh, absolutely fucking horrible. I'm in the UK right now. I'm in the UK right now. So, like, people say it doesn't happen here. This is exactly what happens in the dairy industry. In the UK, in Australia, all around the world. It's absolutely sick industry. Baby killers. So, you know, try the plant milk. You don't have this type of blood on your hands. You don't want this on your conscience. It's horrible. Milk is murder. Take the vegans out of the picture. Thing to say. It's about the animals. These babies' blood is on your hands, okay? Those who fund one of the cruelest industries on earth, the dairy industry. Poor babies didn't have a chance, but you know what? At least they don't suffer anymore, but this is how we treat them, like waste. Put them in a bin. Disgraceful. So why would you defend dairy consumption? Why would you defend it? Especially like, you know, with so many alternatives, it makes it even, even if we didn't have alternatives, it wouldn't be justified, but the fact is you do. You do have alternatives to dairy. There's no reason animals like this even should need to be rescued from some evil oppressive system. What are you defending, Pierce? Defending.